A traditional meaty lasagna, also known as a lasagna bolognese, can be a serious undertaking, complete with homemade noodles and not one, but two sauces, a creamy bechamel and a long simmered bolognese. And it is the ultimate lasagna. It's delicious, but it takes all day. So the question for Christy is, can you keep the flavor, but speed it up a bit? Yes, Yay. you can. <laughs> it doesn't usually happen, but we're gonna do it today. All right. So we're gonna start with our noodles. Okay. I have about four quarts of water here that I brought to a boil. I'm gonna add a tablespoon of salt, and now I'm going to add my noodles. When you think about saving time, you think about using no-boil noodles. Those are not no-boil noodles. They are not. These are traditional curly lasagna noodles. So you're actually adding a little extra time to this lasagna. We are, but we're saving so much time everywhere else, so we thought it was worth it to spend the time to get that extra sturdy chew and texture of traditional noodles. We'll let the noodles cook for about six to eight minutes until they're nice and al dente. Okay. And let's get started on our meat sauce. Mm, star ingredient. Yes. What we found with a lot of meat sauces is that as they cook, the meat gets kind of dry mm -hmm. and kind of pebbly. So our solution was to start with a panade, like we do with meatloaf or meatballs. So I have two slices of hearty white sandwich bread that I've torn up into little pieces, and I'm gonna add a quarter cup of milk. I'm just gonna mash this until I get a nice paste. All right. So we have our panade. Good looking panade. Well, thank you. I pride <laughs> myself on my panade. <laughs> so I'm gonna add this to my meat. Now, this is a meaty sauce. It's one and a half pounds of 90% lean ground beef. Usually we go for fattier cuts, saying they have more flavor. Why 90% here? Because we want it to be able to control the fat in here. Ah. Um, it's gonna bake in that casserole dish and there's nowhere for it to go. By using the leaner grind, we could keep that greasiness in check. Makes sense. I'm gonna add a little salt and pepper, half a <laughs> teaspoon of pepper, and three quarters of a teaspoon of salt. <sighs> Time to now get I'm dirty. going in, I'm going in. <laughs> Take off the jewelry, time to go in. You can try to do this with, <laughs> with a spatula, but... Which is kind of therapeutic to get your hands in there and squish <laughs> really the meat around. Is. I am going to wash my meat hands, <laughs> and then we'll come back and we'll check on the noodles. All right. So Julia, I just checked my noodles. Mm -hmm. They're ready to go. So now I've already sprayed this rimmed baking sheet with a little vegetable oil spray mm -hmm. because we don't want them sticking together. So I'm just gonna toss them gently, let these cool, mm -hmm. and start working on the sauce. Using the same pot. Yes. I like it. See, easy and quick. <laughs> I'm going to start the sauce with some extra virgin olive oil. I have one tablespoon. I'm gonna heat this over medium heat, just until it shimmers. Which shouldn't take too long because that pot's pretty hot. It is quite the hot pot. So we want this lasagna to be very meat forward, but we will add some onion. This is one onion chopped fine. We're just gonna cook these until they've softened. We don't really need to go all the way to full browning. So that's just gonna take about five minutes. We have soft onions mm, here, Julia. They smell good. You know what's gonna make it smell better? What's that? Garlic. Ah, oh, you're right. I've got six cloves that I've minced and a teaspoon of dried oregano and a quarter teaspoon of red pepper flakes. As soon as we can start to smell it, about 30 seconds. Can you smell that oregano? Oh yeah, now? it smells delicious. So now it is time to add our beef mixture. Now we're not gonna cook this for very long. I'm just gonna break it up because we just want this to cook until it's no longer pink. So I'm just gonna cook this for about four minutes. Do you see any pink meat in I there? I see no pink. There is no pink. Now we'll add the last element, which is 28 ounce can of crushed tomatoes. That's also not a lot of tomatoes, so this isn't really a big tomato-y lasagna. It's really all about the meat. It is about the meat. So I'm just gonna make sure that I scrape up any good brown bits that got stuck to the pan while the meat was cooking. Now I just wanna bring this to a simmer, and then I'll reduce the heat to medium low and let it cook for five minutes, just long enough to let the flavors melt. Our meat sauce is done. Oh nice, that was fast. Five minutes. Love it. So now we're going to start on our white sauce. That's not a bechamel. It's not a bechamel, <laughs> no. Again, we're trying to save a little time. Um, and other recipes try to save time too. Often they'll use ricotta, but ricotta tends to get kind of grainy when yeah, it gets it really, really does. at higher temperatures. Mm -hmm. We found that cottage cheese works really well. It's a bigger curd and it holds up to those high temperatures without getting grainy. Smart. So that's what we're starting with. I have a cup of cottage cheese in here. I'm also going to add four ounces of Pecorino Romano. This is actually about two cups once you've grated it. Mm -hmm. And then we'll also add a cup of heavy cream because we need it to be <laughs> saucy. And add some flavors, of course, a little bit of garlic. It's two cloves that we've minced. And I'm adding a teaspoon of cornstarch, and that's gonna help bind everything, mm -hmm. and it's also gonna help thicken it a right. little bit. And then a little salt and pepper. I have a quarter teaspoon each. 
I'm just gonna whisk this. That was the easiest bechamel I never made. <laughs> <laughs> it is very easy. Okay, now we're gonna head over to the construction zone. <laughs> right, because you have a lot of components here. Putting them together looks like it might take a little bit of time. It's like an erector set. <laughs> now the first step is we use some vegetable oil spray, sprayed the whole bottom so the noodles won't stick. I'm gonna take three noodles. Now look, these perfectly fit. Nicely. Unfortunately, that's not always the yeah, case. Yeah, this doesn't always happen at my house. Right, and we're looking for sturdy, not shoddy construction. So <laughs> if right. you find that the noodles don't fit all the way to the end, we took two noodles and cut them in half. Ah, cut and to so, fit. Yes. I like it. That way you have noodles the whole length of the dish and everything is a lot sturdier. Okie doke. I'm gonna take some of my meat sauce. All right. About one and a half cups. And we'll pour this. Oh, I'm getting so excited. Mm, me too. <laughs> and then I'll take half a cup of my sauce. And this I'm just kind of dollop. dollop. It's not gonna be a totally smooth coverage. That's right, because when it hits the oven, it's gonna melt and make mm. the sauce. And if there wasn't enough cheese here, I'm adding a half cup of the mozz. Now, this isn't the pre-shredded stuff. This stuff looks a bit stickier, which is pretty important to buy block mozzarella and shred it yourself. That pre-shredded stuff doesn't melt the same. So now we'll start the second layer. All right. And like I said, it didn't fit your pan and you were using a half sheet, mm -hmm. say at this end. On the second layer, you want to make sure you put the half sheet. Oh, the alternating the cut to fit so it's an even construction. Yes. Yeah, you might have missed your calling. You should have maybe wear a hard hat. <laughs> We're gonna finish this one and then do two more layers. So we have four layers and then we'll talk about the topping. All right. We have finished four complete layers. Mm. And that dish is full. It is full. It's a massive it? lasagna. It's hearty. So now we have the last layer of noodles and if you were using half sheets of noodles, you wouldn't add it to this top layer. All right. And you're also not going to add any meat sauce. Well, that's good because there's none left. We worked it out that way. That's <laughs> smart. Because if we add a meat sauce to the top, it keeps it a little wet. Mm -hmm. And if it's wet on top, then it's not gonna brown. Ah. And the brown cheesy top. It's the best part. Exactly. <laughs> Instead, we're gonna add the rest of the white sauce. So just kind of get it spread pretty evenly. Now we have the rest of our mozzarella. Mm -hmm. Should be about a cup left. And we'll sprinkle that over the top. Now we're gonna add a little bit more of that pecorino, mm -hmm. just another quarter cup. Because this is an aged cheese, it's a little drier. Right, so it browns better. It's gonna brown beautifully, so there we go. Now notice that I have this sitting on a rimmed baking sheet. Right. Because this is very full. Yes, it is. And we don't want it to overflow. And I'm also going to cover it with some foil. I did spray this with vegetable oil spray. So we're gonna put this in a 375 degree oven, uh -huh. in the middle rack, for about an hour. Okay. We're gonna go in halfway, take the cover off. That's the smell right there, the smell of success. Look at those spotty brown oh, bits. But that looks lava hot. I mean, It is, is so hot. So we have to wait half an hour. That's gonna give the cheese and the sauce a chance to kind of set up so we can cut those nice squares. I think it's set now. Awesome, time to eat? Yes, absolutely. The whole making of lasagna, the hardest part is getting the first slice out. Looking pretty. This is like operation now. You're using the double spatula technique. Using, uh, Look at. Yeah, you nailed it. All right, I'm going in. Okay. Man, that's good. The cheese sauce, it really thickened nicely. It did. And it's just kind of gooey. Yeah, and it didn't break. It doesn't have any of that graininess you get with ricotta. No, it's very creamy. And very beefy. Finally, a lasagna that tastes like beef. Christy, this is the perfect lasagna. Thank you, Julia. Mm, thank you. For a streamlined meaty lasagna, start by boiling traditional noodles, then drain them and let them cool on a greased baking sheet. Instead of making a long simmered bolognese, make a quick meaty tomato sauce with a panade, 90% beef, and some crushed tomatoes. Skip the bechamel and make a no-cook white sauce with cottage cheese, pecorino, and heavy cream. Assemble the lasagna in a very sturdy fashion in a greased dish, bake for an hour, and let cool for about half an hour before eating. And there you have it, from Cook's Country, the ultimate hearty beef lasagna. So good. <laughs>